Oh my god, I just hit level 40 in Pokemon Go. Look at the 15 Dragonlands that I got. Hey, do you want an account? Fuck you. Hello everyone, it is Sam for and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And the subject of this video is going to be about GPS spoofing, uh, Pokemon Go hackers, Pokemon Go botters, and the effect that this whole botting spoofing thing had on Pokemon Go as a whole. Because I think there's two parties that are at guild. The first one is, of course, the people that are initiating that, but I don't blame them so much as I blame Niantic. For obvious reasons, like Niantic could have done everything they could to, you know, take down these people immediately and not make botting, spoofing such a public thing as it is right now. Because literally on every single video that I'm making, uh, there's a lot of people just saying like, hey, reversal, you're a hacker, you're spoofing, you're a cheater. How did you hack? You got a high level account for me. And I'm just like, I'm not even, you know, hacking. I'm not, I don't know. I just... I play the game normally, I go outside for 8 to 10 hours a day to actually play the game, hang out with my friends and, you know, level up and stuff. I spend a buttload of money and a buttload of time on the game and just play my Pokemon adventure that way because that's the way that I chose to play the game. Now, don't get me wrong, I got nothing against spoofers or hackers that just do the game for themselves. There was this level guy, uh, there was this level, uh, there was this guy who got to level 40 with botting and hacking. Uh, but he decided never to take over a gym because he did it for for science He wa just wanted to see what it is like to actually make his way up to level 40 in Pokemon Go and uh, Share it with the world and Niantic didn't do anything with that like immediately They didn't take him down. They actually allowed him to get to that level and if they would have done their homework or if they would have done what they did with Ingress stuff like this would have been prevented it is because of Niantic's poor efforts into taking down hackers, cheaters, that this whole community of hacking and cheating actually exists in the first place. Like, what they've done on, on Ingress, the, the previous game of, of Niantic, like the, 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 the predecessor of, of Pokemon Go. What they've done is, people who are cheating, GPS spoofing, they would drop IP bans. IP bans, as in your internet connection would be banned. Uh, from that location, your phone connection would be banned for, from playing Ingress, or your device would be banned as well, or even I think your location would be banned, because they know you were hacking the game so many times that they just couldn't trust you from that location anymore, um, at least that's what I think. So they've done significant amounts of effort into taking down spoofers, they were notorious for taking down hackers and spoofers, and in Pokemon Go, nothing. Like, at the beginning, absolutely nothing. There were entire Twitch streams dedicated to people hacking the game. And literally thousands upon thousands of people were watching those live streams. There's YouTubers out there, like Master Saint, who's making thousands of dollars on videos on Pokemon Go hacks. Which is crazy to me. If Niantic were to be taken cheating seriously, they would take down the channel with copyright strikes, just like Supercell is doing about stuff that they just don't like to be, you know, advertised. Like, if Niantic were to be serious about taking down hackers, hackers, like, period, like, completely. First off, I think it wouldn't hurt their business. Like, people would be like, well, then, you know, a lot of people would not play the game anymore. Do you see the amount of people that are playing Pokemon Go outside? I tell you differently. Like, I'm serious about this. There's so many people who play the game legitimately, and there's just this, maybe, 0.5% of people who are actually hacking the game. Those people don't spend money at all. Like, a business like Niantic wants to get the money, right? So, they want to make sure that people who are actually playing the game invest money in lures, like, 70% <coughs> <percent> of <coughs> $1,500, uh, make those people ha happy by, you know, taking down the hackers that are ruining the experience for legitimate players. I literally had a guy following my gyms, uh, taking them down. Like, literally what he did was, I was outside just doing my regular rounds. At that time, I was always at the same time taking down the gym so that way I could actually get my um, the 10, 10 gyms reward for the day. I would take down the gym, I would put my Pokemon in there, and I would go away from the spot, go to the next gym. I took down that gym, and my other gym was already taken over. And... 
then at the same time, it happened a minute after I took out over the gym. I was actually standing at the gym, waiting for the guy to actually take over the gym. I was looking around me where the guy was, but I did not see anything. I didn't see anybody. And that happened for three strict days. And actually, he was out looking for the guy. And I was like, I, I wanted to congratulate him for doing so well, taking over the gym immediately and just kind of connect with him or something like that. But no, it was a spoofer. And it became apparent later after I actually met the guy in real life and he actually explained to me that he was spoofing and he thought it was fun to take my gyms. People that are spoofing and hacking and taking over gyms deliberately to hinder someone's progression inside of the game for real, you're There's people out there who do it seriously to hinder people. And I got a problem with people like that. Like, I think, you know, there should be some sort of respect to people who actually want to play the game legitimately. If you guys understand how many good things Pokemon Go has done, and Ingress, I mean, and Pokemon Go understands this too. Like, Niantic understands this too. The amount of stories that have come out of people that met their significant other through Pokemon Go. People are getting married because of Pokemon Go. I just, I, I can tell you guys right now, there will be stories later down the road. I am at Mommy and Daddy. <laughs> How did you guys meet while we were playing Pokemon Go? She was in Team Valor, I was in Team Mystic. <laughs> you know, stuff like that is gonna happen. It's gonna happen, trust me, it's gonna happen. But people with anxiety issues, with depression, are playing Pokemon Go, and they're having a blast. And you just go out of your way to try to ruin people's fun. Like, I don't, I under, I don't understand. Like, I understand that you want to try to cheat the game. I don't understand that you want to go out of your way to hinder people. Or to occupy a gym. Like, people sitting home and they're literally auto-clicking a gym to take over the gym. To look cool at your friends or something like that. People who try to convince people that you can get a exclusive Pokemon from a 5 kilometer egg. That is actually like, if you, a lot of you guys think it's real. No, you cannot get a regional exclusive from a 10 kilometer egg unless you're in that region for that Pokemon. So for me, in the Netherlands, I can only get a Mr. Mime from a 10 kilometer egg. I cannot get a Taurus, a Farfetch'd or a Gangaskhan because they're exclusives. People done research on stuff like this. But if Niantic once again would have done their research and would have publicly explained what is going on, the kind of eggs, how you are able to get those eggs in those specific scenarios, we wouldn't have all of these conspiracy theories. We wouldn't have people hacking all the time. And I'm pretty sure we would have had a lot more players playing the game legitimately, having fun playing the game legitimately. Uh, legitimately you know? I have a friend. And he's his bother, a spoofer. I don't hate him for doing that. I just told him, don't go ruin people's fun. Because I'm, I'm gonna kick your ass. Like, I'm, I'm legit, I'm serious about that. He started playing the game with me. Um, and what happened was he got sick. And he was kind of, you know, fed up about the fact that I was so much ahead of him. Because he couldn't, you know, move out of the house. So what he did is he was, he was like, he started spoofing the game. He started getting all these crazy Pokemons. At that time, I didn't know he was spoofing. Like, I just was perplexed by the fact that he got so many crazy Pokemon out of nowhere, even though he was sick. At least I thought he was even higher level than I was. And then he explained, like, yeah, there's this tool, and you should make a video about this. I was like, no, that's not, that's not, you don't do that. Like, I'm actually having fun going outside. Why the heck should I still go inside and play Pokemon game by moving your arrow keys? Like, that seems so silly to me. He started playing the game again, he got banned. Got a new device to play on, and he's like, the game's no longer fun because I used to have all of these Pokemon before, and now I don't have them, you know? And that's the thing, like, you're missing out on half the fun if you're actually cheating on a game like Pokemon Go. The reason why I spend so much money on Pokemon Go, several reasons, is one, uh, I think, you know, as a YouTuber, it's an investment that I make into the channel. I'm just being completely honest with you guys here. I think as a YouTuber, it's an investment that I'm making onto the channel. What I spend most of my money on... It's actually luring parties, like, it's what I've doing, I've been doing. And I've been sitting at those luring parties, of course, with a lucky egg on constantly. I only play Pokemon Go with a lucky egg on. That explains why I'm level 35 with playing 8 hours a day at a spot with, like, 2 lures or, like, 4 lures. I know for a fact that people in my direct community, a lot of them are students. They don't got money. So, I can actually spend that money and actually, you know, set up these luring parties for us. And, you know... It's been great, like, we had many people coming together playing Pokemon Go and actually making friends, having connections, and so on and so forth. So, 
I think for those reasons, it is worth it for me to spend that amount of money and also to bring you guys some good content of some cool Pokemon that I found because in the end of the day, I know as well as you guys do that you guys might be interested in high level content at the same time as well. So that way I'm able to showcase to you guys these crazy CP Pokemon that I'm catching. Uh, but it's all done legitimately. So that's just a part of my story there. A conclusion of everything. Niantic should do something. Niantic needs to step up their game once more to make it so that way we're actually getting updates about what they're doing. Not just talking about, you know, hey, we're working on it. No, what are you working on? I think as a company, it is invaluable and it's crazy to me that in, in, in 2016, a company can get away with, well, we're working on it. Like, it, that really blows my mind. Like, Supercell cannot do that anymore. They're getting a lot of backlash or if they're not communicating with their audience. Like, Niantic is big. Like, Pokemon Go is huge. So they can actually get away with something like that. So is that okay? No, it's not okay at all. Like, not at all. Like, it is not okay. Uh, is it gonna hurt them later down the road? I, I think it's gonna backlash for sure. Like, if, if, if they want to keep the game for long term and if they want to... Make sure that the player base stays interactive and interested in Pokemon Go. They have to step up their communication. They got 1.9 million followers, or more than that, I think now, um, on Twitter. And it's just one tweet away to explain what they're doing, you know. And I think those little kinds of things are unfortunate. And you might have to excuse like, hey, uh, well, they're working on it, so they don't got time. No, you cannot get away with that. They make so much money that they can hire a community manager to write those messages for them. And, um, yeah, it's just, I, I just think it's really unfortunate that spoofing and GPS hacking, uh, spoofing GPS hacking is, is the same thing. Botting and stuff has been, has become such a public thing. Like, I think it's really unfortunate that it has become such a public thing. Because I cannot dream it out of my comment section anymore. Every single time I'm uploading a video and you guys see my account level, some of you go like, oh, there goes that spoofer again. Uh, I, I submitted a ban appeal for your account. For what? I'm playing legit. Like, you know? Stuff like that. This video is not for sympathy. This video is not for asking you for your, you know, emotional support and stuff. It's just a video to help you understand the current situation of Pokemon Go as a whole. And one big issue that is hacking, GPS spoofing. Because it's still affecting people up to today. And I think Niantic should really step up everything in general. So yeah, still love Pokemon Go. Road uh, to level 40 is going to continue. I'm uh, almost halfway to, I'm halfway to level 36 right now. Um, but I'm actually planning to go to the States, I'm planning on going to Asia, I'm planning on going to uh, Australia to catch those exclusive Pokemon that you're usually not able to get. The one thing is, I did see a video of, an, of a fellow YouTuber and I think he got banned for playing Pokemon Go on the plane. Now, I'm not gonna play on the plane, but if I'm going to the other location, will I get banned for GPS spoofing even though I'm there for reals? I think what I'll do is if I'm actually there, I'm gonna live stream me being there. So that way Niantic uh, has some proof of me actually being there or something like that. Anyway, gonna keep you guys in the loop for that. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. And very importantly, thank you so much for the support, guys. We got over a million views in the last in the last 48 hours on the channel, which is just insane to me. To everybody who just subscribed, welcome. To everybody who's been around here for a long time, welcome back again. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, and that's going to be doing it for me for now. Uh, this has been Reverse for Pokemon Go. I'm going to be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.